Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to the first time ever I think I've done this on my channel to a recap of the Tottenham vs Brighton game last night. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Tear Bear Printing. Uh, you want a design shirt or you like a custom shirt and they possibly will be selling my merch very soon. Uh, go feel free to check it out, use the word sport and you get 10% off your purchase price. So go and make sure you do that and yeah, basically design your shirt and you know, get 10% off. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? But as I said, I could be selling my merch soon, but that's for another story for another day. But anyway, this is what we all came about to see is the recap to the Tottenham Brighton game last night. I'm just going to start off with the lineup that Brighton played last night. Now, before you start shooting me down, I think Brighton did a fantastic job for what job they had out there. And, you know, as I said, I'm going to do the lineup, I'm going to talk you through, and then I'm going to talk you through why, you know, the thumbnail is what it is. And I'm still not disappointed that Brighton, even though we might slightly should be. I'm slightly disappointed in saying that, but you know where I'm coming from. But anyway, let's get through the lineup. So we have Rob Sancho in goal. We had Lampen, goal scorer, and you know, his first senior goal for Brighton. Ben White, Webster, Bazuma, Trossard, Groves, Lalana, March, Burn, and Fatomen. The bench was Matty Ryan, McAllister, Alpsatsi, Welbeck, Popper. I knew a Swiss under 21 strike, I'm not going to pronounce his name because I don't want to get a horribly wrong. And Bernardo. Right. Now, talk about that formation. Obviously, you can tell by the lineup. There was no real recognised uh, first team striker in that first 11. So, basically, from a Tottenham perspective, we got defensive straight away. Because there's no recognised striker on that pitch, and yet Trossard and Lenana did a great job. As I said, the team did a great job. I'm not just you know, I'm not blaming them. I think they, I think we deserve something at the game, if I'm all honest. But you know, there's still a lot to talk about, which is why this video just came about. Let's start off with the Harry Kane penalty, um, and I'll do that because, and it's just about to come out why. It was on the line, right? Now I can I can see you Tottenham fans going, well, it's on the line. It counts up in the box. That's not true. If it's on the line. Possibly an indirect free kick. So Tottenham have won the up within, I think it's the 20 minute mark, somewhere around there. Stupid Alana to jump up the ball, that's the only thing I am going to say. Harry Kane had no attention for jumping for the ball. He was just waiting for that, you know, in the back. And then basically just go down. And, you know, uh, Graham Scott, I think his name is, part of my thumbnail, goes to free kick. Then John Watson got involved, I think that's his name, sorry if I mispronounced it anyway, but trust me, there's got a lot more to come from my perspective on YouTube in this match. He went to VAR and he went, that's a penalty. Okay, absolutely fine. I don't agree it's a penalty. I think it might, I think. If anything, it should have been an indirect free kick or whatever you want to call it. Penal uh, free kick inside the box, not a penalty. But, right, so we move on from that. Now, next bit of play, that's a big talking point, is a Trussard penalty shout. Now, I see a lot of you saying about, you know, I'm a Brighton fan, of course I've got to say it's a penalty, of course I've got to say all this. I did actually watch it with a Liverpool supporter. Now, you know, when we watched that, I'm going, I thought it was a penalty, so did the guy I watched it with. You know, and we sit there, and if half of you are really honest, they'll be honest with them here, would Man United, Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea, Tottenham got penalty for that. 
he had his arms around him like that I'll show where you can see right like that and basically you know just basically said yeah no pen and that went through AR my problem with the match officials is exactly what it says you know if you follow me on Twitter you like my Facebook page you will send me you know the post last night that the match officials are a joke in the Premier League and I stick by that I rather would watch foreign football now with a guy that's grown up with the English Premier League that hurts for me to say it but this is becoming a real circus and basically there's no consistency within the Premier League and you know it really does get to that point where you really are thinking of you know when's this gonna stop I spoke to a mate a few months back and we sang they should come up with a system like a table system like Premier League to Championship to League 1 to League 2 and all the way down in the football pyramid just like the football pyramid works and basically let's say a Premier League has a bad month for Premier League referee let's say for example I don't know Mike Dean you know I'm just using this using you know, the sample Mike Dean let's say he has a bad month he should then get relegated to the championship and as well as that you know the drop his wages should drop too second thing that you know we're looking for with VAR we got the opportunity with VAR to create the perfect sport in the world of football it's really hard enough without the fans at this present in time I'm missing the fans as much as watching it on telly you know I do miss not going to games I do miss you know uh, even hearing the fans on telly you know it's one of these things I really do have and miss and basically you know your VAR and the match official is just ripping it I don't even enjoy watching football anymore and that's not because of the VAR as you all know if you're a regular viewer of mine you know how much I like VAR I think it's perfect for the sport I think it's needed but until we get okay I'm going to be a bit harsh but decent match officials who can keep up consistency we ain't getting nowhere and yet the referees and our match officials complain when they don't get picked for the Euros or the World Cups and as far as I'm saying I don't deserve to let's move on with the match so the next big uh, talking point was the Brighton goal was there a foul lead leading up to the goal now with that it's a foul outside the box Brighton should have had a penalty in my opinion and yet the Tottenham players have got the audacity to complain when he got the ball and yet the funny thing was between the Tottenham penalty and the goal Brighton's goal the referee got called over I mean really I mean a penalty is you know more than likely going to be scored we all know that but then to have a referee go we're not sure about it she needs to come and have a look and then for that for the penalty to stand and so I'm just going to move my phone out the way and then to stand there and go, you know, we need we need to have a look at this. If he could call the penalty, which I don't think was, I think it should have been an indirect free kick if anything, but then you cannot call him over for the goal. If you can't make sense of that Tottenham penalty, how can you not make sense of a goal? But yet again going over to the match officials now let's say for an example as I said I, I enjoy watching foreign football from time to time especially when there's no English football on but when a guy like me as I said growing up with the Premier League I've been watching the Premier League since I was about four years old I'm now in my mid-twenties so that sort of gives you the range of how long I've been watching the Premier League 
When I go like me, enjoys watching MLS, you call it Joker of the League, yeah, call it whatever you want. But I know it's a fair game. When is the Premier League going to go to the FA, all the match officials going, you're not calling it an even game. And basically, you, you know, you really do need to have an even game. Otherwise, get out. I think the Premier League and everyone involved with the Premier League, with the match officials, needs to start showing them, you know, if you're not doing your job, you should be out the door, you know, and it frustrates me to the core, because as I said, I've grown up watching the Premier League, I remember back when Roy King and Patrick Vieira and Thierry Henry, yes, but I thought with this VAR, there will be consistency. And it just really proves that the referees don't really care about the football. You know, they're getting paid a bit like the players. I don't think they're getting qu quite as much as the players. But until the referees stand up to the Premier League, stands up to the referees in the English game, until basically you, you know, until that starts up, until we start seeing consistency, this league, and I will keep on doing my petitions by the way, but you know, it makes it hard for me to do videos like this because you know, I want to I wanna have the dream spot to work with, I want to have, you know, even game. A bit like that Mane goal, uh, was it, it wasn't last week, I can't remember when it was, when it's given offside. The Premier League said, and I'll state this, at the beginning of the season, three millimetre, uh, three centimetres, I think it was, they went three centimetres offside, anything below that can count. And they rolled it offside. This is what I'm saying. We have got so many problems within this league. So many. I mean, I'll just touch up on one between VAR and the match officials. I don't blame the VAR itself. I think the VAR is brilliant. Okay, sometimes it might work against my team, or like it did with the Tottenham penalty. As I said, if my honest opinion, probably an indirect free kick, but... And then, when we got the goal, we had the audacity to call uh, Graham Scott over, saying, we need you to have a look at this, but yet John Watson can call that penalty shout. You know, it does make me laugh. But... You know, this is my Tottenham to Brighton recap, you could call it. I can imagine being called many things by yourselves. You know, you can say I've been moaning. I haven't been moaning, though. No. I've just been saying the state the obvious, that this league... What makes me laugh with the Premier League? Now, I'll just say this before I wrap up. We're called the best league in the world. We're nowhere near the best league in the world. I think we're top of the Comedian Club. I think if anyone goes, you want to joke off for football, watch the Premier League. Because I've seen more fair play games within a poor football. The MLS, for example, the Serie A. I've seen so much better football abroad, it does make me laugh. But as I said guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end, guys, you know what to do, give us a big crap thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, Ciao.